University of Canton, Elizabeth Cardona, Lisa Hedda, and Peter Nettie. All are graduates of UM. Two were born in Miami, and two were born in Sofia, Bulgaria. We <coughs> thank the, Soviet, the Soviets for this uh, historic bond. Um, I always, I had this, the first job I had in Miami, I sat in a room with uh, Cubans uh, and a guy from Poland, and they kept on talking about the same stories, but one was in warm weather and one was in cold weather, but they had the same uh, cans of produce, the same cars, it was, it was kind of bizarre introduction to Miami, but Miami is this complex collection of events, and this firm, this nice firm, I admire this partnership. While I do not know if they're day-to-day working, what it is, it can be characterized as a band, a family, or a team. They are smart to exploit this partnership in these terms. On the web, web page, there is a family silhouette with a dog, the album cover poster for tonight's lecture, and the athletic team shot against the wall. This complex representation of the firm establishes presence in the president of the profession. NC office is a particularly intense group, one that adjusts and fights to get work done. It is a group that has, has absorbed this community, um, and there's a, there's a, a few lucky, lucky students in here a chance to work on projects at a very high level. Its scrappiness, and I use this in a good word, is not just a symptom of use. It is a reflection for a passion for architecture, one that firms should aspire to at any age or size. But what ultimately characterizes the work of NC Office? NC Office asks the question, what is the move? What is the architectural move in the project? During the engaging the Urban Roundtable, NC Office moved for the Third Avenue. The Commons project was explained. The main corridor shifted from the private to the public and produced a highly articulated, a highly articulate urban structure. Um, NC Office is an articulate firm. Their moves are quite elegant. Um, they maintain their elegance through the rigorous development of identi identifiable formal typologies. In NC Office's hands, these typologies assume new um, relevance and engage modern concerns. Uh, NC Office is content to deal with the arbitrary nature of architecture. It understands that for architecture to remain prevalent, it needs to mark a clear gesture of intent. Please join me in welcoming, I guess, Nick Nether from NC Office. Ultimately, our goal is to build architecture that 